Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody getting on the computer tonight. We're going to get started here in a second. So glad you guys are here. Yay. Doing some beauty hacks and beauty tips tonight. Girls night out. All right, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for taking your time with us tonight. Okay, we're gonna get started. All right, I am giving away things tonight. I know uh, we some of you were on last week and we uh, had some internet issues. And so the way we're doing this tonight is your comments. So I am not reading comments this time. I'm not gonna even you know try to read comments or anything. So when you comment, um, you're going to go into some drawings for prizes and I might tell you, oh, hey, comment this, this, and this. Um, but I'm going to be counting the comments, whoever makes the most comments. Uh, don't be deceived because the consultants are making comments too, so they don't count in the drawing. Uh, they're just helping out and they're um, going to be answering your questions and that kind of thing. So um, go ahead and type in questions, type in comments, as, and the, uh, like I said, consultants will be um, answering and, and that kind of thing. And um, you may get comments from me as well because I got uh, some help here and we're going to be um, we're going to be working it out. So that's kind of how the conversation is going to go. But I am going to get started and just give you some some things right off the bat. And then um, let me grab this here and then we're going to get start. Uh, we're going to just keep going. So beauty hacks, because there are some things you can do. I just dropped my lip liner here. There are some things you can do to um, kind of make everything stay on longer or make things look a little better. And sometimes it's just like a little little tweak and um, you can look a whole lot better and you can be taking much better care of your skin and that kind of thing. So the first thing I'm gonna share um, is lip liner. Now, some people are like, oh, I don't do all that. Well, let me tell you, lip liner is like a saving grace. So all I have right on right now is lip liner. I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, our lip liners are really cool. Let me see if I can get this in the in the white. But we have this um, this end. This is not. It's see. It's at the end of the the liner. This is not a sharpener. It's a shaper. So you actually can take the end of your lip liner. I, I'm not going to do this and try to do it in here. But you put it in the end of the uh, little thing, and it it'll keep a shape if you need to reshape your lip liner. Um, but if you take your lip liner, I have a mirror here. Um, and you put the lip liner all over your lips. Now, if you take the point and you just draw a line, you're gonna have a nice little precise line, um, but that's not really what we're looking for. And if you do a line all around your lips and then put lip gloss or lipstick on and then you eat or talk or whatever, or drink a drink and um, all it's gonna come off, you're gonna have a line. Um, so we don't wanna do that either. The other tip for lip liner is if you take your foundation and uh, cover your lip line, I did not do this tonight, um, but you cover your lip line. Say you want to make your lips a little bigger or a little smaller. You're not going to go. You're not going to go. You're not going to go way outside your lip line because then you just look like you've lined the outside of your lips. And we've all seen that look, and we're probably not privy on it. But you're just going to go slightly on the outside of your lip line versus or on the inside of your lip line. Uh, uh, with the line and it's it's subtle but it makes a huge difference so if you feel like you have too small or too large of lips just go on the outer edge of the lip not outside the lip line or on the inner edge of the lip line and it makes a huge difference so when you take your lip line put it all over your lips now it stays on um at one time a gal was talking about how her mother-in-law i think she had a red lip liner on or something and they would been out water skiing all day and her mother-in-law was like how on earth did you leave your lip, your, your, keep your lipstick on all day? She goes, oh, lipstick's been off for a long time, but I have my, um, I have my lip liner on. So you put your lip liner on. This is a medium nude. We have pinks, we have red, we have uh, colors. I just have a medium nude on. Then you can simply put on some lipstick real quick. Can't talk. This is uh, just some lipstick to brighten up my face on the, the thing here. Um, oh my gosh, I can't read this. Um... If anyone wants to know, I believe it's it's the the purple. Oh my gosh, you guys! I can't read this without my glasses. I think my glasses, uh, they fell behind the thing here. Let's see. This color, if anyone wants to know, is 
right here. This is exciting. Appleberry. Oh my gosh, I knew that. So this is Appleberry. So um, um, you can put on some lipstick. You can put on a light gloss over the top and of just your lip liner and just have kind of a nude, kind of a brighter lip. Um, uh, but it'll keep it on all day and it'll keep the color long wear. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of, uh, of uh, gloss over the top because I'm a gloss girl. And um, now it's probably, it's going to stay on for a really long time. Um, the color doesn't come off. I mean, it, it does, but it doesn't. You can still see it because the lip liner kind of takes the color of the lipstick or the lip gloss that you have. So um, that is your beauty hack number one. I don't, I don't know which, how many numbers are going to be, but um, using lip liner before lip, you can, like I said, many times I just put lip liner on and then gloss. We've got all, we got pinks, we got browns, we got reds and berries and uh, but uh, put your gloss on uh, your lip liner first then put your gloss on or you can put a lipstick and a gloss or just a lipstick so that is a way to keep your um, your lipstick or lip gloss on longer now another thing um, this is the great thing about Mary Kay is you have that try before you buy so making sure you have a color that brightens up your face makes your teeth look whiter if it doesn't it's not a good color i remember one time i was at a, a convention and a mary Kay convention and i i left all my lipstick so i had this one lipstick that did not look good on me and i put it on and these directors were so nice they're like honey you know if you have a lip it was just my teeth look yellow and it's just not a good look so make sure you have a color that brightens up your face and a lot of times people want to look natural and they'll put on a brown and they have brown hair and brown skin and a brown or a tan colored lipstick. Now they just kind of look washed out and dead, kind of like a little sick. So sometimes natural doesn't mean brown, even though your natural hair color and colors are brown. Sometimes you can put on like this lip gloss. I'm gonna move on from this, but Sparkleberry. If you just put this on, a lot of times it just looks like you have a nice brighter red lip, brightens up your face, but it doesn't even look like you have anything on. So that actually is sometimes looking more natural than a, a natural uh, light color. Okay, let me move the glasses now. Get excited about those. All right, so the next beauty tip is one of my favorite. My legs have gotten um, really, uh, they've got veins and just being real, I've got some varicose veins from having three kids. The last kid, they didn't go away. The other two, they did. So my legs, I don't show them a lot. Um, I have a, a dress on. I tried to put the camera way back, but it just seems so impersonal so you could see my body. So I'm going to hopefully, it just, it just felt like I could uh, talk to you better. I felt like it was just too far away. So um, I am using tonight our Targeted Action Toning Lotion. This lotion is amazing. It's, um, it's not going to make you thinner, <laughs> just so you know, but it takes and it firms up the skin. If you have... Um, uh, the stretch marks or you know just kind of lumpy skin or whatever you can't use it once or twice a week and expect it to fix everything but if you use it every day especially like twice a day but if you use it every day it's just going to firm up the skin a little bit but it's in a wonderful lotion you don't need a whole lot because it is um, like I said, if you, if you didn't ever watch the, the first video I ever posted in this group about the company and, and the, the quality of the products and, uh, you know, that it's made here in America and, um, all the jobs are here and all the ingredients are, we know where they're come from. We know what they are and we make sure that they're, um, they're quality and high standard, but there's no fillers in our products. So a lotion like this, um, is wonderful. You don't need a whole lot but it's gonna do what it says it's gonna do because you're not working through a lot of water and fillers and whatnot. So I am gonna take my lotion. Um, we do have a couple other lotions. This one is just the, the greatest for this. So I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take a dark, um, this is actually deep. Um, uh, so it's about two shades higher than your normal shade, a darker um, CC cream. So I just take some lotion. I take some CC cream, actually let me, okay. I forgot about this. I brought a towel so I don't flash you all because let's, I'm going to do my legs with this. Get excited. But I'm going to put the towel over me because I don't want to flash you because this is not very ladylike, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so let's have my little, my little uh, mirror. You can see my mirror here and my little table with all the stuff on it. So I am going to take the lotion and the CC cream. You literally just put it together. Now my legs aren't uh, super white. They were a month or so ago, but I've been using the subtle tanning lotion. But it's still nice. They're going to look horrible once I put this leg up to the next, just so you know. But um, it's it's nice to um, 
um, just have this more flawless look. Now, you can actually use one of our Luminous foundations as well. Um, a couple shades darker. I actually have my leg color foundation and my face color foundation. You really can't use the same one because it would just won't look right. Um, but uh, you can use our Luminous foundation um, as well. You want the luminous because you want your, your legs to have kind of a glow and a luminosity to it. So you ready? Look at this. I just put the lotion and this on and then I'm going to take and not flashy. That's why I have my, look at my legs. Look at the difference. I wish I could here. Let's pull, push this back. Oops. Um, do you see that you guys look at, look at the difference. Um, you can see all my veins and stuff. That's why I do like the, the, the more full coverage foundation simply because, um, I sometimes it, it, a lot of times it'll cover up, but your legs just look flawless. I wish that I could um, uh, show you from a long distance, but look at that. Look at the difference. Um, so when you're standing there and you've got your, your dress on, let's see if I can not flash you guys. Um, you know, it just looks like a nicer leg. Look at that. Okay, we're done looking at my legs, but it's a wonderful trick. It takes two seconds in your bathroom, um, but then I can wash my, wash my hands off here, but that's all it takes. And um, you have nicer, just nicer looking legs. Now, sometimes when I see people's legs, I'm like, oh, I wish I could help her because her legs will look so much cuter if she just put some lotion with a little CC cream on. Then we have this a fabulous finishing spray. So um, you, you can simply spray your face. Look, I can just spray my face and it's, um, it helps keep set your makeup all day. But you can also take and spray your legs and it helps set your legs. Um, the first time we saw this, this woman came in and she was sitting on a white couch in this lady's um, uh, house and literally she said nothing. She's in her 70s. And several of us were just like, what is up with your legs? Your legs look amazing. What have you been doing with your legs? And she shared the tip. And forevermore, we have been, we call them Las Vegas legs. We've been, you know, tanning our legs without tanning our legs. Um, and it just gets all the imperfections not looking as great. So that is tip number two. I love that. But you can't, like I said, you can't really use the face, your face color. So you need to get a CC cream that's your leg color because um, you don't want to, Look, you don't want to whiten up your legs. All right, so that is my beauty hack number two. So we've got the lip liner to keep your lipstick or lip gloss on all day. And again, like I said, if you, if you want to look natural, you can just put a, a, a nude colored lip liner and then put the color over the top. All right, I'm looking at my notes here to make sure I keep on time. All right, now um, say you want to stay out of the sun. I recommend that. Uh, sunscreen, and we talked about all that last week, but sunscreen is important and all those kinds of things. Um, but one thing we do have, it's kind of fun, is our uh, bronzers. Now, um, so let me just show you this. So these are limited edition. So if you're going to want one of these, you're going to want one. Get now. We have two different colors. Um, but basically with a bronzer, uh, this is kind of a beauty hack um, number need to, is our brushes. Uh, these brushes are amazing. They're a new technology in brushes. Before the greatest brushes were to use like horse hair basically, but you had inconsistency in the um, Obviously because one horse's hair is different than the other so um, in the bristles well these are a new synthetic and They rock because they mimic the horse hair um, Quality, but they're consistent so they can keep them consistent. So this is our amazing brush set um, just just a little precursor. I, this is a foundation brush. I don't even know if you can see these. Things. I added this one's added in here, but um, these are our brushes that come with this. And if you want to learn how to use brushes, ask your consultant. We can do a makeup class because it's super fun. Um, but you can take a bronzer and just kind of get some on, and you can just kind of bronze around. You can bronze your nose, but it just you can bronze here, right? But it just gives you that sun kiss glow if you have. Um, I had a, I was getting cold, so you can bronze your shoulders if you want a little bit on your shoulders. But it just gives you that sun-kissed glow. It has a little shimmer without being in the sun, without having to, you know, uh, get all that dark cancer-causing sun. So anyway, bronzers are great. Now, you do not want to use bronzers as a um, contour. We have contouring powders here, um, and your, your consultant can teach you how to contour if you want to use the contouring powders, um, whatever you darken goes away, reseeds, and whatever you lighten comes out. So contouring and highlighting are designed to help 
darken things you want to kind of reseed and highlight things you want to bring out. And it's different for each of us to an extent because um, our features, we all have different features, bigger noses, smaller noses, you know, bigger chins, all those kinds of things, um, fuller faces, slimmer faces. And so we want to highlight and contour. You don't want to use a bronzer as a contour. Um, you just really don't because... Um, you just be glowing and it's just not the right thing but bronzers are really great and if you get this from your consultant now before they're gone um uh they're i think she can get them through the middle of next month um then you'll have it for a long time because they last a long time that's the beauty of um they just come out limited edition okay so bronzing is great so we're looking all sun-kissed without having to sunbathe and uh, get uh, all the sun rays. So a couple other things I want to share with you because um, I just think it's so fun to look our best but not have to take a whole lot of time and then six, eight hours from now still look our best but we just didn't take a whole lot of time in the bathroom. And sometimes when I started Mary Kay, I was like, washing my face takes a lot of time. Like this was, I was just not a, a glamour girl. I was not into the makeup or anything. And so being able to um, go and have in and having to wash my face. And they said with all this stuff, because <laughs> before our, our miracle set was like four steps and now it's, you know, two, but before we had to do like three different things and Oh, it was so much work for me because I washed with soap and water. And so, um, but I, they said, do you, do you wash, do you brush your teeth? I said, yes, I brush my teeth. And they said it takes, it takes the same amount of time to brush your teeth as it does to wash your face. Uh, so I timed it. it. took me four seconds longer. I thought, hmm, if I get good at this, I may be able to shave off that four seconds. So, um, so now I just brush my teeth and wash my face and those are the routines. And so, um, washing your face with a good skincare. We talked about that last week if you were on, but, um, if you are not using a Mary Kay skincare, um, what are you using and why? And so, um, that would be a great question to let your consultant know. And simply because there are, are other great brands out there. I'm not going to say Mary Kay's, um, the end all be all, but it is, um, it's a good quality product. It's made here in America. And like I said, the quality control, the ingredient control, as far as making sure that the ingredients are going to do what they say they're going to do, but also are not harmful to our bodies and to our skin is, is second to none. Um, and a lot of the stuff that you're getting at the, at the store is, you know, coming from China and, you know, there's always some, um, uncertainty. In, in that these days, um, not that you're going to get a virus or anything. I don't mean that, but it's just, there's an uncertainty when it's coming from, um, you know, another country that has quite different laws, <laughs> hugely different laws than, than what we have here. All right. Primers. I want to talk about primers because it may think, oh, another step. Well, if you put primer on under your foundation, just the messenger, but some of the older ladies that I know that use this, I'm just the messenger here. They say it's like spackle. It fills in the cracks. And so um, I can show you if you've never used a primer. Let's see. Um, it's it's a clear. See how it's a clear? And it's super soft. Like, it makes your skin super soft and silky. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. You can't even see it. You can't feel it, but it just makes it soft and silky. So it, it kind of fills in the cracks. Um, but it also... Uh, helps keep your makeup on all day. So a foundation primer is amazing. I don't have it out here. We also have an eye primer. You can take an eye primer and you just put it on your eyelids. Um, and it, um, uh, it helps keep your, your eye color on all day. It's like, it's more like a cream and we're going to come back to eyes in a minute. So I'll, I'm going to go over that a little bit more. And then we have a fabulous lash primer. Now, um, I've had some people where, you know, they're going out hiking. They don't want to put on full makeup, but they don't want to like just look like they rolled out of bed either. And so um, they just use the lash primer. See the fun? It's just clear. You can't see it. Um, but you just do your lashes. And then, so some of you guys are trying to put on fake lashes and trying to get bigger lashes. Well, if you put on your lash primer first, kind of let it dry and then put your mascara on, you're going to have fuller lashes. However, if you just use this without mascara, um, it just kind of looks like your face is a little brighter. Your eyes are a little brighter. Um, like I said, if you're going out and working in the yard or, you know, in the neighborhood or, or walking the dog or whatever, or if you're going out for a hike and you just want to look a little nicer. Um, you can do something like just a primer on your lashes, uh, but it doesn't look like you have a lot of makeup on. Lash primer is awesome. Awesome. Um, the other primer, hold on, where are we at here? 
um, oh, I left it in the other room, is a lip primer. And I apologize for not having it here, but it, it's just a little, it's just like a little lip balm. And you just literally put it on, but it's kind of like the Wonder Bra, you know, it supports, it keeps the lips and the, the, the liner in place so it's not bleeding and the lipstick and that kind of thing and helping um, prime the lips to keep the lip line uh, the lipstick and lip liner just kind of where it's at so primers are a great thing t in the end of the day in the long run to keep things uh, staying on longer okay so so primers are a, a great way to um, uh, use use for your next beauty hack now I want to talk about eyeliner um, and I did not bring an eyeliner in here, so I'm just going to pretend that my lip liner is an eyeliner. We can all do that, right? Here's the lip liner right here. All right, so so with eyeliner, because I'm not going to... Oh, actually, I wanted to show you this. Now, for those of you who know Mary Kay brushes, this actually was a Mary Kay brush a million years ago. My actual brushes are down at our studio, and I wasn't going to drive down there to get um, just a brush for to show you guys. But this, So this is a, like a little free of a purchase a many years ago. But do you see the... Um, see this this is what I want to show you this brush here um, we have a wonderful brush like this that has at the other end you can use to brush your brows and brush all kinds of things so um, or you know brush through your lashes if you have if you just want to kind of separate them so it has this fa fabulous end but this brush you can actually use different eyeshadows you can take a dark um, a black you can take a dark brown you can take a purple you can take a light color um, but you can use this brush as um, and use eyeshadow as an eyeliner now I love our brand new um, pin our can you see that I forgot the okay over there this is our new liquid eyeliner pen um, if you have problems and it's it's waterproof so if you have problems with like tearing up or or things smudging and that kind of thing the waterproof is the way to go because it will stay on um, I have problems with that so I this waterproof and it's it's just a little like it's like a pin so it's easy to just you know oh here it's easy to just uh, get on there and just kind of you know do a little line and that kind of thing so um see that okay so anyway so this is our fun uh, pin um, you can also use if you want a softer look uh, this and so so what I want to sh uh, share with you about or you can use our pencils which our pencils are great too but what I want to share with you about and I have a I tried to do it on the paper with them it didn't really work but I want to I want to show you real quick I, I brought a lady see this is my model um, if you take your eyeliner and you go all the way oh, it's all the way around you know, she, she's got really beautiful eyes, but if you take and go all the way around, it kind of closes in your eyes. I have small eyes, so if I was to go all the way around, it just if you uh, makes them smaller. If you have deep set eyes, it just makes them smaller and brings them back. So and remember, anything you darken recedes. So, so if we take and go color all over, then um, uh, you're going to make small. Now, if you have nice big eyes and you want to do that, great. Now, if you just do eyeliner on the bottom... It just doesn't look natural. Um, I have honestly never really seen a, a, someone that couldn't do a little bit better job. So you never want to just put eyeliner on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure for the reasoning of people doing that, but you just don't want to do that. And I'm like glad I can't see any of you because I had. <laughs> so um, you, this gal kind of already has eyeliner on the top, if you will. So if you take, and this is what I this is what I recommend for you. Um, and if you could, I don't know if you have only a husband or something, you may not want to ask his opinion. But if you take and you go halfway, um, halfway with your eyeliner on the top and a third of the way on the bottom, um, especially if you have small eyes, it kind of opens your eye up. Now, sometimes it's just not enough and you can tell and you can go a little bit further, maybe two thirds. You're probably going to end up going about two thirds of the way on the top and about half on the bottom. Um, but then you can kind of taper it off. But it just, it, it makes me see that your eye looks a little bigger. And so just making that line not go all the way across and never in the water line. That will not only make your eyes look smaller, darker, um, just kind of more sunken in, but it's also dangerous for your eyes to have um, makeup on the, water, on the water line inside. So you always want to go underneath. Um, so anyway, that's my tip for eyeliner is to brighten up your eye area. If you don't wear eyeliner, that's fine. But um, just using <laughs> my my model, um, at some point we'll all be back together and we can do this kind of stuff together. But just using eyeliner to um, to make the eyes appear bigger, brighter, more open um, is great. And 
And um, now having said that, if you want that smoky eye look and you go all around and you kind of, you know, smudge it and you put makeup on and it's an out, you know, night out look and that kind of thing, fabulous, wonderful. I just don't think, this is just my opinion, but a lot of women over 35 um, wear that on a daily basis or even wear that out. Um, um, some, some of you that are younger may wear that um, just to have that bright, bold effect. Awesome. Go for it. But I've just given you kind of an everyday, brighten up your eyes, um, you know, brighten up your eyes, brighten up your lips, put a little cheek color on and your face looks bright and you look alive and people, because there's, there's something to be said when you just kind of look like you're a little bit sick or washed out. So <laughs> brightening up your face, everyone makes you, thinks you look happier and, and, uh, you, you probably look in the mirror and feel happier. Okay. So eyeliner. All right. So we have these wonderful things. I'm just kind of randomly going, these are our new liquid. Let me make sure I say the name right. Find the glasses. Here we go. These are our new, they're called, I think, yeah, liquid eyeshadows. That was easy. Here's the fun thing about the liquid eyeshadows. So they come in these four colors. Oop. They come in these four colors, and I just dropped one. So uh, here's the fun thing about these, and I'm going to show you some uh, fun tips. But um, these are primers. So they're like a colored primer. They're primers as, far as, as well as color. Now this one right here, the lightest color, uh, I will get you the name. Oh, it's on the bottom and super small again. Here we go. Here we go. The name is Light Beam. Um, let me show you how these come. Super fun, super easy. So you can actually take, you can just put a few dots on your eyes and then you can take your brush. I zipped up the brush, little brush bag. You can take your brush and you can, you know, blend it all around. You can put the light beam in here. Um, the reason I like the light beam is because it's a brightening color and it's, it can have multiple uses. So you can, you can take your light beam and you can put it all over for a uh, brightening and then you can take the other colors. Well, you can take these other colors and use those as your second and third colors or however many colors you do. You can put powder color over the top, which is great uh, to kind of find some definition. You can also take this and use this as a highlighter. Now you're not gonna wanna use a lot, but it's just a fun shimmery highlighter. So you can put a little color here um, and you're not gonna put like a, like a line. You're going to want to probably get some on a brush and then just kind of lightly put some here. You could actually put a little under. You, This kind of brush is great. You can take and put a little under. I forgot to talk to you about primers there. Um, here just to brighten up the eyes um, and you can take a little little bit and put a little bit here, here, here and you can put a little bit here. It draws the eye to the center of the face. It just brightens up the face when you have a highlighter. You just want to use a little bit, but this color is fun because you can use it as a highlighter and you can use it as a, as a base color. Um, you can use it as your only color, but this color is wonderful um, to use for that. One thing I forgot um, to say about uh, eye primer is you can take a brush or your fingers and you can actually put eye primer underneath the eye um, as well as on the top if you have problems with the feathering or the bleeding or the you know flaking you can actually put it um, here to help keep the liners on and the foundations I mean um, the colors on all day as well so anyway this is a fun color they're all beautiful colors um, and fun colors if you want to just use them all but it's just um, this one kind of has multiple functions one other thing I was going to say, if you have problems with your mascara running or uh, flaking or, you know, just kind of getting down underneath your eyes, if you will, so you get that raccoon eye. If you take a powder, any kind of powder you have, um, a loose powder, a uh, mineral powder, an eyeshadow powder, whatever powder you have, and kind of let it fall on your lashes before you put your mascara on, we had a makeup artist that talked about how our mascaras never fully dry and our, our eyelashes have oils in them. And so that's sometimes why you're having problems. So if you kind of get a, a powder on them and then put your um, mascara on, it will help um, help the mascara dry. Okay, so that, that tip can help anyone. Um, I guess the CC cream, now obviously this one's uh, too dark for me, but yeah, this is my leg color. <laughs> but CC cream is great for um, having your face just um, 
having a nice, because foundation is important. One day without foundation is like seven days without cleaning your skin. So you want to use a foundation daily to protect your skin. If you're out working in the yard, CC cream is great. You put your CC cream on, especially if you put on your uh, primer and your CC cream. The primer has um, SPF 15 as well as the CC cream. So you've got a little SPF on. Um, I'd recommend, of course, having um, one of our uh, moisturizers on first, which has SPF 35, but you get your foundation on, um, even when you're going out and working in the yard, even when you're home alone being isolated, you should have your foundation on, uh, because the dirt and the grime of the day, the, the carbon monoxides in the air, the, the dust and dirt, all the pollen, my, my car is yellow. <laughs> you wash it and it becomes yellow again. Um, all that stuff skin on your skin, in your pores, increasing pore size, increasing signs of aging. So foundation is an important step, but a CC cream is kind of nice. If you have oily skin, it does have that SPF in it and it could look too greasy. But uh, CC cream is fabulous because it kind of, um, uh, it's just easy. It's just easy. All right, so those um, are my primary tips. The other thing that I didn't bring out here, but uh, especially with those with oily skin, is we've got the spray. Uh, I've sprayed it on my legs. My legs. See, I don't want to. I don't want to lift them up again in case I flash you. But this, you spray your face, keep your makeup on all day. Um, but we also have a powder, a translucent powder. It's white, so if you put too much on, you can look chalky. Uh, so, so you just powder on a little bit, but it helps set your makeup as well. Um, so those are my major tips. I guess the last one. Um, well, I want to show you this. So we have. Um, fun compacts. We have our large compact um, that you can put all kinds of eyeshadows. I have a, a cheat sheet here. Just as, this is my demos, but um, eyeshadows and cheat colors and br the bronzers fit in here. Everything fits in um, all of these compacts because our compacts come like this and you can the magnetize in. So you can put the eyeshadows in. So this you could put three eyeshadows and a cheat color. You could put a full bronzer. Um, this is my own personal one. I keep this in my car. This is a finishing powder. A finishing powder is not a makeup powder. Mineral powder you can put on and it adheres to the skin and that will protect your skin. So if you want to, uh, if you want to use a uh, loose powder mineral powder, that's great. But this is not going to protect your skin. This is just going to make you look cute. So if you have shiny skin or something, I keep this in my car. But if you just powder it around I you know just kind of it takes off the shine and it gives you a little um it just gives you a little um more finished look so if you're going in to meet someone important or whatever you have this in your car you can just kind of powder it on you saw it took me two seconds and um you're done so um and then we have these fun little tiny compacts they have a little window this one's brand new it still has the little plastic on it um but it has a little window but if you wanted to put um just to rewind, uh, you could actually take instead of this, if you if you're not into the liquid, um, you could take our crystalline eyeshadow and do the same thing. You can highlight. Obviously, you'd want to put a primer on underneath, but um, you can use that as a highlighter as well. We've been using that for years as a highlighter. So you could put your crystalline in here and a cheek color. You could put um, 